Save 15% off your order through Safari site using my exclusive coupon code DINOSCREEN. Link is in the description of this video. Hey everyone, welcome back to another Safari Limited review. Today we're going to take a look at one of their older figures. It's their 2017 Coelophysis. I have a little bit of quiet time before I get some new figures in. I probably won't have any new figures till the earliest next week. So during this downtime, I like to go back and review some older figures. And today we're taking a look at Safari's Coelophysis. And you may have heard me mention it a few times during some of my Safari reviews that their 2017 lineup was absolutely stellar there's so many great figures in that line and they have not come close to matching that variety since that release and plus i feel like this little figure which is absolutely fantastic by the way was overshadowed by all those great releases back in 2017 like their feather t-rex and diplodocus so that's why i'm doing this review to bring a little bit more attention to this fantastic little figure so let's pop this figure up on the turntable and let's jump into this review all right, let's start with this 360 degree view of this highly underrated figure. I've always loved this figure since I got it in years ago. It's just such a great looking seal of physis, and there's not a lot of seal of physis figures out there. The only ones I can think of off the top of my head is that two pack of Jurassic Park uh, seal of physis that came out back when the first movie came out. I think they might be like one or two others from some other smaller companies. But nothing looks like this one. This is a highly accurate scientific seal of physis figure. And it's just absolutely beautiful. I love the coloration. I love that orange and white with that black striping along it. And you have a little bit of a light blue and red on the head. It just really makes this figure pop. And another thing why I consider this figure special. This is my own little uh, weird rating system. I've always had this figure displayed since I got it. You know, I don't have a lot of room to display all my dinosaur figures. I have a constant rotation when I get new stuff in. I box up some older stuff, but this little guy has stead, uh, stood the test of time since it's been released, and that is saying something about this mold. Now, I know it's a tripod figure. It's balancing on its hind legs and the very tip of its tail, but it looks really good. That tripod doesn't bother me. I know we should be away from tripod figures, you know, with all the advances in technology over the years. We really shouldn't be uh, seeing that, but just that the tip is just holding this figure up really doesn't bother me. I think the figure looks absolutely fantastic from every angle. So let's just do a couple quick measurements. This figure, if you measure along the curve of the tail and the curve of the neck, is about eight inches long, and it is just about three inches tall to the top of the head. So the largest recorded specimen of seal of physis is just under 10 feet long. So I'll put this figure somewhere in that 114 scale range. All right, let's zoom in and take a look at some of the finer details on the figure, starting with this beautifully sculpted head. You know, it's a long eight inch figure, but it's really slender, but it does pack a lot of tiny details on it, especially on the head. You get some nice fine scale details along the snout and it's done in this really, really light blue color. The eye is painted yellow with black pupil. You have a little bit of red around the orbit and then you have some red painted on the crest on top of its head. And then you can see that this figure does not have lips. You can see some teeth poking down from the upper jaw. The nostril is painted in black. And then we get right about the eye, you have all these really primitive looking feathers sculpted in. Now there is no direct evidence that Coelophysis did have feathers, but it is believed that, you know, the ancestor of dinosaurs probably had these. You know, the lack of evidence does not mean it didn't have them. It's just a speculation, but a lot of people accept that this animal did have some type of feathering. All the feathers on the body are nicely sculpted. They're done in this beautiful orange color. Then we have this black stripe along the neck that separates the white feathers from the orange. The neck is nice and slender, just like the head, typical for Coelophysis. And then going down to the arms, the arms are beautifully sculpted. The hands are done scaled. You have some nice fine scale detail on there. The hand claws are done in a gray paint. And you can see the hands are nicely sculpted, very proportionate to the body. Going down to the body, got more of that nice scale detail, that black striping mixing in with that white feathering. And let's turn the underside over. You can see the chest cavity is nicely sculpted. You can see the safari trademark along the bottom, which is barely noticeable because it blends in with all those feathers. The uh, dry brushing of the white feathers on the belly is really nice. You have some of that base plastic color on, underneath there coming out to add some nice definition to it. Going down to the hind legs, hind legs are also nicely sculpted, covered in 
tons of feathers. Like the only spots on this figure that aren't feathered is the snout, the hands, and the feet. You got some nice calf muscle definition. You got the orange paint stopper right here before we go into that white. The feet are really, really nicely done. You got some nice scale detail and that gray paint for the toenails. And then going down to the tail, you have this nice, long, slender tail. And you get to right about near the last like quarter of the tail. You have some nice white and black striping on that. really adds some more uh, color to this figure. So yeah, I really, really like this thing. Here it is from the top. You can see some nice narrow hips, which is pretty typical of Coelophysis. This is an absolutely fantastic figure. Like I said, I feel like it was overshadowed by the rest of the 2017 lineup, but like I said, which is absolutely fantastic. But I've always really, really liked this figure. Like I said, it's been on my display shelf since I got it in. So that's saying something. Moving on, width comparison. Since this figure is kind of in that 114 scale range, it actually scales really well with six inch figures. So here it is with the Marvel Legends, Stormin' Norman Osborn, AKA the Green Goblin. So this gives you a good sense of how big Seal of Feces was in real life. And next up here is Faris, Postasuchus and Archosaur that lived alongside Seal of Feces. I don't have a lot of Triassic figures to compare the seal of Isis too that's because a lot of dinosaur companies don't make triassic species um you know you get a dimetrodon from the permian and you know we're lucky we even have a seal of Isis. like i said there's barely any figures of the species out there and i'd love to see some companies give more attention to these early dinosaurs love to see a high quality hererosaurus and eoraptor and we definitely definitely need an updated platyosaurus from safari the carnegie one is pretty good i actually do have that figure i just have no clue where it is haven't seen the thing in about a decade it's probably buried in a box somewhere uh at my parents house still but i'd love to see an update to platyosaurus in the future from safari and next up, let's compare to a couple other figures that came out in 2017 alongside the Seal of Physis. Here is another underrated figure from that lineup, the Parasaurolophus. This is another great figure. has a lot of nice fine details up close. I'm eventually going to have to review this one. And let's see what else we got. Here is a figure that definitely overshadowed this one. Here is Safari's Feathered Velociraptor. And here's the big figure of 2017 from Safari. They're amazing looking feathered T-Rex. It's still one of the best products Safari has ever made. And let's just do one more 2017 figure. Here is their really nice looking Diplodocus. I have a feeling I'm going to review this one next. You know, got to feed the YouTube algorithm. And lastly, let's just do a couple relatives of Coelophysis. Here are some Neotheropoda Coelophysidae. Here is Batats, uh, Cryolophosaurus. Come on, stand, stand. There we go. Stand, buddy. Oh, these Batat figures, they have man, such soft plastic. They do not like to stand for long. They walk very easily. And here is uh, last year's Safaris, the Lophosaurus. So you have a couple relatives of Coelophysis in this picture. Now, they're not in scale with each other, but it is nice to know that we have some relatives of this very well-known Triassic species. So, final thoughts on the Coelophysis. I think it's a fantastic-looking figure. Like I said, there's barely any figures of the species, and it's such a well-known early dinosaur. You know, we have, you know, hundreds and hundreds of specimens from that Ghost Ranch discovery. We know a lot about this animal from from baby to an adult. So it's nice to see that a company did take a chance and give us a really nice, accurate looking Seal of Physis figure. Like I said a couple times during the review, I feel like this figure was overshadowed by all the awesome figures that were available in 2017, but this one is definitely a standout for me. I just love the sculpt and detail on it. The feathers are really well done. The paint scheme is fantastically done. And this figure retails for just under 10 bucks, and there's no reason not to add this to your collection. Triassic Dinosaur figures of this quality are so rare in our little collecting hobby, so this is definitely a must-add in my opinion. And like I said at the beginning of this review, you can save 15% anytime from Safari site using my exclusive coupon code DINOSCREEN. Link to purchase this figure is down below in the description. So that would do it for the review. Like I said, I'll probably review like one or two more older figures up until when I get uh, some new product in. And we're in September now, so probably in like a, another month and a half or so, 
Safari should be revealing what will be available in 2022, and I can't wait for that. And as always, if you're enjoying the content on this channel, show your support by hitting that subscription button just below the video. Each subscription helps out the channel tremendously and is greatly appreciated. I'll see you guys for the next one.